I want to share how I attack master lock speed dial style locks that includes locks like this Nolan when I know they have a factory code. Now you'll know they have a factory code if they have this green sticker on the back. Now the Nolans I've gotten do not have a sticker so you can't tell so that's actually a good security feature but um, when you get one of these locks it's set to a four direction combination um, and I've gotten a lot of these as you can tell and it seems that the locks never have more than two consecutive inputs of the same direction so right there that limits the problem space down from 255 to some lower number um, another thing about this lock is that it works like a hash function you can put zero to infinite length input and that translates into an internal state there are only 7,501 internal states and multiple inputs, input sequences can lead back to the same internal states. Here are some equivalent combinations left, down, right, up which is a something we could get as a factory combination is equivalent to left, right, up. Don't believe me? Let's set this lock to left down right up left down right up gauge the wheels reset it okay let's look at the back okay left down right up okay it opens well let's try left right up left right up works just as well the point is that there are multiple inputs that can lead to the same state therefore there are equivalent codes like this left right up left down is equivalent to one two three four different factory codes so knowing this we can use a computer to generate a brute force to try to find this low hanging fruit like this this combination that checked all these states and we can build up sequences by which we check these states very quickly and by very quickly I mean you can check half of the input space in about minute 45 seconds you can check the whole thing in about six minutes so look at this top line of this sheet left right up left down This top line is exploiting all the equivalencies in these states. First we do left, right, up, which matches that. Then we do left, right, up, left, which matches that possible factory code. Then we do left and the other one. And then we do left, right, up, left, down, which matches these four. So in just one, two, three, four, five moves, we've checked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven factory codes. Now that's the best case. As we get further we no longer check them quite as fast. But this just shows the idea. So let's prove the concept. I have two locks in the package right here. As a side note I really miss the old packaging now. The old packaging had a little drawer in here that you could keep closed if you wanted to and take the thing off. Okay, so for these, 
I am going to cut them open. I'm going to extract the combination sheet, stick it in this envelope so I don't see it. I'm going to close my eyes, you have to trust me, and then I'm going to follow the brute force sheet. I may speed it up in post-production, but we'll just see how long it takes. I mean, I've done this a lot. This method is what I use to get all my master locks off the packaging, all my Nolans off the packaging. So, let's go. I'm going to zoom. Well, this is a good zoom. Okay, let's start with the black one. Hopefully, I won't need to get sheet two. Okay, if you want to follow along at home, here you go. Here's the link. Okay, so I'm going to open these up and put... the combination. I don't remember if they're right side up or down. I guess I figured it out. I don't know. I'm going to close my eyes and put it in here. Hopefully I don't cut myself and bleed all over this paper. Okay, my eyes are closed. I can feel it. Okay, I'll put it in the corner. I now have a lock that I do not know the combination to. That's that beautiful factory sticker. So all I'm going to do here is enter the sequence and pull the shackle on any red letter. I'll zoom in just a little bit. And it seems monotonous, but you know, they call this speed dial for a reason. The input is quick. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so this is left, up, up, left. Left, up, up, left. Cool. Well, you can see I entered this sequence, pulled on the L, and the third input over here is the combination. Let's try it one more time. So we know it's not a fluke. Okay. I'm going to put the code into here. Close my eyes. Closing my eyes, I can feel it. I now have a lock I do not know the combination to. Start at the top. Oh, that's cool. I'm a little busy right now because I'm making a video. Oh, sorry. They got it back up. Okay, thank you. Um. 
Please don't drop my locks on the floor, okay? Oh, oh wait. What in this? Look. Look. Mikey, I'm busy right now. It says for outdoor use. What did you say? It says for outdoor use. The Nolan locks you can use outdoors. These are outdoors ones. One, two, three. Oh, wait, wait. Do you know the code? Look, of Mikey, this? I got. Oh, sorry. I got that lock open pretty quick. See? Watch me open it again so I know it's not a fluke. No, you have cool. to. Let me try. So, as you can see, this method works. Um, see you later. Say that. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. We have to look at what what they say. Oh. Okay, so this was the black. Mikey, can you bring back bring back blue. the blue? Okay, so we had left up up left for this one. It could be an equivalent code. Left up up left. Okay, Mikey, can I have this one back? Oh, but I'm still trying. Yeah, we just want to look at it real quick, and then I'll let you open it up. Here's the code. Right, right, left, right. That's what we had here. Cool. Now you say bye. Here. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.